server upgrade and migration it's our lab lab 2 now if you notice there there are so many scenarios there that uh, portray a lot of information about planning like for example exercise 1 says we should plan a strategy to upgrade servers and of course what migration strategy we will we'll use it's giving us a scenario whereby the, comp the company currently run existing servers like server 2012 to server 2008 RO2 is that not correct now we need to upgrade these server systems to server 2012 and you notice that you have DHCP with some servers you have DNS in some servers are we together it's quite it's quite it's it's quite lengthy you can see that only one lab is about five pages or four pages Yes or no? That is the kind of exam I wrote when I was in international exams. I had to read such, I have to re read a scenario like this, and I have to answer questions based on this scenario. That's why you see some people who are writing 4, 13, 4, 14, they write it like more than five or six times before they pass. Yeah, it's not really an easy exam. That's why they call it expert, MCSC. There's the expert level. Okay. Um, we're, we're not concerned about everything. If you notice that it says your proposal, the proposal, you're planning to run Microsoft Assessment and Planning Toolkit to help you decide on a server consolidation strategy, what results would you expect to get from this tool? So these are some of the, this is a tool now that Microsoft has provided that we can use to achieve this result. So we, it, we have been asked to read the information, the documentations, then exercise two said we should evaluate the candidate for the server virtualization. So in this case, we're going to be running it on our server system. Actually, we're supposed to use it on the client. So if you go to Drive C now, which I asked you guys to earlier on go to, and if you go to, if you open Drive C, you'll notice you have the map set up to there, right? you notice that it says Microsoft Assessment and what? Planning what? Two kits. Yes or no? Now, this is the exercise because there's a sample document there that I will, because we don't really have a, a, a physical structure that we can actually test it with. So we're going to be using a sample uh, file that we already have there to actually uh, test it to, to, to see how it really works. Are we together? So I want you to right click on that and extract, extract all. Uh, just click extract and that is it. It will go ahead and do the extraction. We'll just wait for that to finish. Finished. Now, if you if you if you go to the bottom now, you can see that we have a normal uh, folder now, right? Is that not correct? And if you double click on it, you have the exercise files there. Is that correct? Uh, okay. Um, can we double click on the two now? Uh, map setup. Can we double click on it? And we go ahead and do the installation. Uh, straight to the point. I believe all of you know how to install, right? So we click next. Accept the agreement license. We click next and next again. And of course, um, the reason for Microsoft giving you customer experience improvement program is uh, for Microsoft to give you like um, a suggestions of what other people are using the tool for. I think we've always done this before with other tools, right? Like when we did the uh, the automated installation toolkit huh? with Windows 8, right? So all I need to do is to um, join the program. It's fine. If we don't have internet, then we click on install. So allow the installation wizard to go through. When it's done, then we'll proceed with the practicals. Now, if you can see, it says I uh, completed the setup wizard for Microsoft Assessment and Planning Toolkit. So all I need to do is to click on finish. Now, uh, yeah, the keys with me. Yeah. So uh, the next step we need to do is to, if you look at task one, uh, I want you guys to follow exactly what I'm doing, please so that you guys can get exactly what is happening here. Um, just a minute. Okay, task one, what's the next step? We should open the what? The, as, the Microsoft what? The Microsoft Assessment and Planning Toolkit, right? So can we go to the um, Start menu? Uh, let's find out if it's here. It says one new application installed, right? Now, go to the drop down and let's look for it there. You'll notice it's great there, Microsoft. Wow, that's it there. Is that correct? Huh? Can we click on it? Can you click on it? That's it there. Under PowerShell ISE. So we click on it and the wizard is going to come up. So we just wait for the application to pop up and we'll proceed. Okay, that's it. 
That's the application there. And that is 9.1. As I presume, that should be the updates. So that's it there. Checking uh, duplicate processes, checking your setup and things like that. Okay. Um, now, we're asked to click on manage. Is that not correct? Hmm? We're asked to click on manage. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to close this. And we're going to go to file. Um, we're going to say manage database. And we're going to click on what? Import. Did you see import there? So click on import. Then we're going to browse to our file. Remember the file we extracted huh, from the folder? Then we're going to go to drive C. Then we're going to go to the map demo exercise. Then did you see the sample.bak? Plus, did you see that? So we'll select that. We'll click open. And it says the name of the database. We should type what? MAP demo. Is that not correct? Huh? Map demo. Is that not correct? Please read your manual. I'm reading the manual as well. Please read the manual. I'm using the manual to do my task. I'm not guessing yet. So I'm going to click OK. And we'll wait for that to import. OK. We'll just wait for that to run through. When it's done, we should be able to see something. Cut this on my screen. Successfully imported the database. Database name, map demo. So click OK. OK, and close. Now, did you notice that it says select, um, create or select database? You see that there on the overview. Huh? You can also see that there. Select and create or select a database, right? So can you click on that? Now, it says use existing database. We should select map. Did you see map there? The map demo. Huh? OK, have you selected that? Now we should select OK. Click OK. Wow. There's a whole lot of information there, right? Is that correct? There's a lot of information. Now we are asked to we're asked that we should run server consolidation wizard. And um, we should run the server consolidation wizard, then select the hyper V, uh, the server 2012 hyper V, then we should click on um, sample hosts. Okay, let me just pause this. Now, remember, uh, currently you guys are on overview, right? So the, we are asked to run the server consolidation wizard. So can you click on server uh, virtualization? Have you done that? Now, do you see where it says run the server consolidation wizard? Huh? Click on it. OK, and um, it's popping up. Just wait for it to come up. Uh, it's working. OK. Now, we're asked to work on uh, Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V. So uh, of course, we're going to have R2 here, of course, because we're running R2 version. But we're asked to just run the Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V. Can you select the second one? Now, click Next. And of course, um, Utilization, we should select Sample Host, right? Sample Host on the hardware configuration. We'll click Next. Utilization settings, um, utilization settings, we should type 75% in each of the field, right? So let's type 75% in each field. So 75, 75%, 75%, 75%, 75%. Then we click on what? Next. Now on, um, OK, to choose computer, it's fine. We just click Next. Uh, computer list, uh, select all computers. Um, 
So those are all computers. So all we need to do is, you see the, the, the box on the top here? Huh? All you need to do is to click on that and it will select everything. Because we're asked to select all computers. Is that not correct? Huh? It says select all computers, then we click next, then we complete the assessment. Then we click that. that that's, that's exactly what we're going to be assessing. Are we together? So we'll click on finish. Okay, so we we'll just wait for the wizard to finish and we're going to see the results. So I'm going to pause this now. I'll wait for now let's see carefully. Now with, with that, that was in uh, step, that is step six. So we are asked to close, right? So we'll click on close, right? Now in the same map console, it says we should go to the server consolidation page, which we are currently, and we are asked to uh, review the server consolidation information that run the server consolidation uh, report. Okay. So let's go to the server consolidation. We're asked to review it. So click on that. When you click on it, it gives you the review. Can you see the review there? So we're asked to run the report. Can you see option there? Server virtualization reports. Can you see that? Okay, click on it. But we can review it there. We can see it says uh, revision 23 hosts required, zero infrastructure required, 394 machines were chosen. And if you notice, if we screw down, it says 31 were Windows machine, 33 were Linux, 389 were machines placed, and five machines were not placed. And it tells us how many network uh, throughputs. Uh, it's about uh, 10,240 megabits per second. We'll need over 1,000 gigabytes and, of course, 40 gig of memory. I would, I, we need one processor with four cores at 3.6 gigahertz, and we need two hyper-thread cores. So based on the analysis of all these computers, are we together? These are the informations that we have. So this will help you to know exactly how many machines you will need, how many hosts you will need. To put on the server system based on this host. This is the host configuration we're using. Remember, this host configuration is the file. This host configuration is what is on your computer system. It's just that with these practicals, we're working with the sample file that is already created already. Huh? Are we following? Okay. Now, can you click on server reports? Yeah. Can you click on the reports? And it's going to generate the reports. So it's going to say, uh, open the report uh, folder after close. So just post that. Yeah, so can we close? Close it. Now, if you look at the format there, can you see um, it's an Excel sheet? That, right, right? Yes or no? Huh? Yeah, but we don't have Excel on our computer, right? <laughs> huh? Yeah, we don't have Excel and there are no, we don't have Open Office except we have, uh, yeah, except we install Excel on the on the client before we can use it. So we don't have the Excel application. Actually, you can actually copy the application to your host computer. You can share the folder; they will be able to view it. Huh? Excuse me. Yeah, to view the reports. Yeah, so we can we can probably share. We can create a shared folder or try to copy it or bridge our adapter with our um, internet somehow just to get the file out of here then we'll be able to view but if you have an excel sheet you should be able to view the file are we together yeah or if you have an online if we had internet access now on our bridge adapter we could be able to view the file so guys that is how to um if you go to the planet to kit there you can see that as a report if you click on server uh consolidation again that is it. It says 23 hosts required and 319 machines were chosen. So that's for private cloud. This is for your virtual machine uh, discovery. You can see it's discovered about 44 hosts and 766 what? Guests. Remember, this is a sample file that we are using. In a physical environment, this will be scanning your entire computer. Are we together? Are we, are we following class? This will be scanning your physical computer system based on the hardware. 
to determine how many virtual machines you can host on that particular hardware device. Yeah. Yes, any question? Exactly. That's why you can see there, you, you saw we create a hard, we can create a hardware configuration. Like if I come in and I say create hardware configuration, can you click on that? I just want to show you guys something. Uh, click on create hardware configuration. Now you see gener uh, uh, general consolidation and desktop, of course that's what I want. And um, infrastructure, okay, so I can come and create a new one. I can say PCE, PCE, uh, PCE, next. Now, now I'm going to create my infrastructure. How many hosts am I need? How many hosts do I need? I need uh, 23 hosts. How many MPUs do I have? Uh, I put, um, IOPs do I have? I have, let's say, I have uh, 40. How many SAN um, terabyte do I have? Let's say I have about uh, 2,000. Uh, total network true parts, let's say I have um, uh, 4,000 uh, megabits per second. Next. Then, what's your manufacturer? Intel. What's the model of your pr processor? We can say quad core, core i5, let's say core i7, 75 extreme. How many um, physical processors? Uh, we can put the um, 16. What's the speed? We can put the speed at 4.2. How many cores per processor? We can say 8 cores per processor. Uh, Hyperthread, we can say 4. Uh, the cache memory, we can say uh, 30,000. Or let's say, yeah, let's say, um, yeah, 30,000. And we can put this one at um, 25,000. Uh, bus speed, we can put it at uh, 2,000. We click next. Uh, network discovery, uh, network true parts should be, let's put 10,000. Then the amount of memory, we're using, uh, let's say, uh, 158 RAM. Huh? Then we click next, then we click finish. Now, what we just did now, we just created what? The way I, what, I, I went to get a class. What I just done that was to create the, the physical configuration of the server that's going to be hosting. What is the hardware? That's why it says, what is the hardware configuration? Do you get it now, um, Amos? So now I can say, run server consolidation now. Are you getting me? Now, on the server, sorry, I think I made a mistake. Um, run server consolidation. Now the wizard will come up. Now you see, remember we created a, a profile called PCE. So let's say I want to do it for server 2012 R2 Hyper-V. So I'm going to click next. Now you notice on the hardware, do you see PCE there? PCE. Huh? Did you see that? So you can create so many profile based on the, the consolidation you want to, remember we're talking about server consolidation. to so host um, a guest operates them on the virtual what? Machine. So I can click on next. We can accept the default 75. Uh, choose all the computers on the list. Um, of course, it's going to bring all the computers. So we select all computers. All computers. That's 394 computer. We click next. Then we run the wizard, but it will run it based on this hardware. Are we together? You see that the report is going to generate now is going to be different from the report from the sample host we had. Are we following class? Yeah, so um, we're just going to cancel and um, I just wanted to show you guys how you can do it on your own. Are we following? Okay, so that's all guys for the, for the lab.